The Biden administration has formally moved to reclassify marijuana as a less dangerous drug. The proposed rule recognizes the medical use of cannabis and acknowledges it has less potential for abuse than other drugs. We're joined now live by Sarah Gersten. She is executive director of The Last Prisoner Project and Stephanie Shepard, who is the director of advocacy. The organization supports people who are incarcerated or returning home for cannabis offenses and advocates for legislation surrounding the drug in the criminal justice system. Welcome to both of you. Good to have have you here. Uh, so Sarah, I want to begin with you. This is the biggest change to federal drug law in decades. What will a move from a Schedule 1 to a Schedule 3 actually mean for Americans? Unfortunately, not much. I don't want to downplay the significance of this move. To your point, this is the most significant shift in federal drug policy in the past 50 years. And it is really critical that our federal government is acknowledging that cannabis never should have been placed in Schedule 1, which is reserved for the most dangerous drugs with no medicinal value. So that does represent progress. But in terms of practical implications, this is not going to legalize cannabis at the federal level, and it really remains to be seen how this move is going to interplay with those states that already have a legalized or a medical marketplace for cannabis. Well, it does impact, for example, research, right, when it comes to cannabis, the long-term effects of it, um, other types of medicinal use, et cetera. That's correct. So that's exactly where we're going to see the majority of shift from this move is it's going to ease restrictions around research. And the hope certainly is that with more research that can show that there is a medicinal value to cannabis, that will lead to even more reforms at the federal level. Okay, Stephanie, I want to speak to you, too. Um, I, I've spoken to you before, so it's great to see you again. You were incarcerated for cannabis for a number of years. That's criminal activity that's now legal. A lot of people are making big profits off of it. Um, what is your reaction to this right now? Um, my reaction is, like Sarah said, uh, we are making progress, and it is progress for those who are eligible for the relief, for um, the pardons and commutations um, to achieve the, the cannabis justice, but it's movement for me. It's feeling like not progress, but movement. Um, you can run in place and have movement, but no progress, and that's what this is feeling like for me. So uh, do you both think that this is uh, like a political reach because the majority of Americans are in favor of decriminalizing cannabis and it is an election year? Or what, what do you think um, you both are saying it's falling short of what it should be? Why do you think this move was made in the first place? So I've heard a lot of pundits saying that this is a political play. This is Biden trying to energize his electorate. But look, as you said, the vast majority of Americans across party lines, across demographics, believe that cannabis should be fully legalized. And this move doesn't go quite so far to do that. And the other piece of it is that the Biden administration clearly sees this as a part of their criminal justice platform. The president has repeatedly said on the campaign trail, both in 2020 and in this election cycle, that no one should be incarcerated for cannabis. But to truly achieve that, he's going to need to do a lot more, to Stephanie's point, than just pardoning simple possession. There are still thousands of individuals like Stephanie incarcerated at the federal level who are clearly no threat to public safety, and the president needs to commute those sentences to truly achieve the criminal justice piece, which is the element that Clearly, they believe the electorate really is going to be mobilized by. All right. Well, um, thank you both for breaking it down, for being with us. Uh, we appreciate you and have a wonderful day. Thank you thank guys you. for having us.